back to school, one North Carolina State sophomore's passion for health care is spreading across the globe. Nishant Singh, who's joining us now, is a student at NC State in the engineering, systems engineering and industrial department. Mm -hmm. You are working on a way to help hospitals run more efficiently. Tell us about this project that you're working on right now. So what I did was find a way that we can analyze hospital systems and look at the resources that they use, which include uh, employees and equipment, and see exactly how much each thing affects the hospital as a whole. So if we add a machine anywhere in the system, does that mean that we can treat more patients? Does that mean that uh, patients can get out of the hospital quicker, which is what everybody wants? Um, does that mean that we can actually charge less per treatment? And then if we charge less per treatment, then those savings would be passed on to the patient themselves. Okay. And then uh, another thing that we look at is the amount of stress that um, the system is under. So you wouldn't want your doctor to be constantly treating patient after patient, running from room to room, thinking about the next patient while they're looking at you. Mm -hmm. So what I look at is trying to make sure that the doctor themselves are under a safe amount of um, stress so that they aren't treating too many patients and they can direct more personal attention towards you. Talk about this treatment uh, footprint per dollar. What is that and how will it make hospitals potentially more efficient? So the uh, footprint per dollar is looking at how every investment directly impacts the number of treatments that can occur. So in the hospital industry, each piece of equipment can cost millions and millions of dollars. So let's say a $5 million investment on a radiation uh, treatment machine. If that can increase the number of patients that can be treated to five million, per, uh, let's say, in a year, that means that the treatment per patient is only one dollar. And then that one dollar would mean that it only has to pay one dollar to actually be completely treated for their uh, condition. Bring this on a patient level. Uh, these inefficiencies, how is it affecting patients? Is it affecting uh, the quality of care that they're getting? Talk about that. So. The quality of care is one thing, and then also the time. Mm -hmm. Everybody values time, so the quicker that the patient can be seen uh, from appointment to appointment or from one section of the hospital to the next department is making sure that the uh, patient can get out as quick as possible and the next patient can come in. But the one thing that we look at is to make sure that the actual time that the patient is being looked at is not um, manipulated. So we'll, we're only looking at the waiting times mm -hmm. and not actually the time that the patient's looked at. So if we uh, keep the, the, keep the uh, time that the patient looked at the same, that means that more attention can be provided, more individual basis, they can actually uh, pay attention to you as a person instead of just as a number or as a file. Wow.